Hey guys, Will from Tustin. I'm Norm from Tustin. We're here at the Toshiba booth. Guess what? They have glasses free 3D. Look at that line. I'm that skeptical a... of glasses free 3D. Let's check it out. Let's cut this line and check it out. I'm standing in front of Toshiba 65 inch glasses free. I... It's glasses free. I gotta take off my glasses. Whoa, things just got real blurry. Let me put these back on. No shutter glasses, no uh, passive glasses. Might need to wear your, your regular eyeglasses. That waterfall is coming out about four inches away from the TV. Uh, the resolution is about 570p. Um, they cut the horizontal resolution a little bit. Uh, this is their biggest model, 65 inch. They're hoping to have this out by the end of 2011. Those bubbles, I want you to pop them. And swim the sea turtles. So we're here with Bruce Walker. Uh, he's going to tell us a little bit about how all this works. Yeah, we are really excited. Thanks for coming to the booth, guys. For 2011, we're standing in our glasses-free 3D booth, which is the crown jewel in our 3D lineup for this year. What, what makes this so exciting is it's almost like 3D t three TVs in one, because we start out with a 4K, 2K panel. So the panel you're looking at is four times. 4,000 4, vertical lines of resolution? No. Oh. 4,000 by 2,000. Oh, okay. So it's okay. four oh, times right. the resolution of a 1080p television set. Oh, wow. So before you even do your glasses free TV, if you're looking at 2D content in 2D, it's going to be four times the resolution of a 1080p So you're television looking set. at making best in class 2D, Absolutely. and then 3D is kind of a bonus exactly. on top of that. And in between there, imagine this. It does our tri-vector 2D to 3D conversion. So the question of what is available for content in 3D, sure. the answer is All everything. Five things. Okay. You'll be able, because you'll be able to do 2D to 3D conversion of anything. Right, and then obviously the best experience you're gonna have if you have native 3D content, whether it be from, from 3D Blu-ray, or whether it be from cable satellite providers, gaming, you'll be able to have that experience in 3D glasses free. So tell us, how does this work? I mean, this So my, my simple understanding, the 101 version, <laughs> is that obviously you get the 4K, 2K panel, there's a setup with your lenticular screen and lens array, and within those lenses, is there's Hold on, a lenticular screen, that's a big word. All lenticular, right. is, uh, it's like those things that are, uh, you, you look at and you move your head this way and you see one thing, you look, you move your head this way, you see another. Is that what, does that what we're talking if, about, lenticular? If you took a concept like that and put it on steroids, it's, okay. that, it's that type of idea. It's a very sophisticated array. Within that, those vertical arrays is a, is a series of pixels. Some of those pixels are designed for your left eye, some okay. are designed for your right eye. The engine in the TV, the lenticular lens system, does its job, gets it out to the right eye in your seating position, and you see what you've seen here today. So you have the same sort of spots. Yeah, we're looking at engineering prototypes that are set up, as you can see here, with three seating positions. Okay. When we launch the product, we're looking to expand that, to okay. have more seating. You're available late this year, probably? Yeah, we're looking at this ship product, ship this product at the end of our fiscal year, which ends in March, so you know, either late this year or early next year. But we can also talk about what we're doing for regular 3D, if you got a second. We're oh, really yeah, excited yeah, with that, too. Because we want to have a little something for everybody in the 3D world this year. So to that end, we're going to be launching a family-friendly pricing structure with natural or passive 3D glasses. Okay, so, so if you've uh, got a customer that doesn't want to give their three teenage kids a $150 pair of glasses each, okay. we're going to have a passive or a natural 3D solution So, so that's a, a polarized, uh, left eye, right eye polarized exactly. lenses. Exactly. And uh, do you lose resolution on that? It's going to be a little well? bit lower resolution, okay. which is why if we're talking to a customer, it turns out they're a little bit more of a video file, want that true 1080p 3D experience, we're going to have our active shutter glasses 3D. And we're even incorporating oh, wow. some exclusive Toshiba technology make that the best experience possible. And is that the same TV? You can have active and passive on the no, same No, it's going to be different, different lines of TVs. Okay. Exactly. Is this, this technology is going to make it more than the TVs? So you guys have laptops. Yeah, we've got laptops that take that technology. And because of the laptop viewing experience, there's going to be cameras in the in the laptop to actually track where you Let's are. Let's go take a look at that. I'm Let's go take a look at awesome. that. All right, I'm here with Everett at Toshiba. This is the, uh, the laptop, 3D laptop, no glasses. That is correct, yes. How does this work? Well, what's happening here is the facial tracking technology in the webcam is catching your face. And what that does, as soon as it catches your eyes and locks in on your eyes, your nose and your jawline, it's gonna turn the PC screen from 2D to 3D mode. So as we can see here, it's in 3D mode as we speak, but I'll show you that oh. you can see the camera. Look at that. Is track, where it's tracking your face. Your, what so we now know. it's in 2D, now it sees my face, now, now it's 3D. Exactly. And I can move anywhere around. Now once it's tracked in and locked in on you, you can tell that it's tracking you and you move anywhere you want, left and right, up and down. And it'll still, still maintain the 3D. And it still maintains the 3D. Oh, that's interesting. So only one person can use this. Only one person at a time can, uh, can use this particular particular product because when the, uh, the angle that I'm on, I can see that it's adjusting, but I can see the double vision where you, it's optimized for the person in front of the PC, which is yourself. How far off axis can I get with this? Uh, you're probably looking at, you know, you're probably looking at about a 45 to 50 degree. It's a, it's a little bit uh, less right now because the plexiglass is a little bit thicker on around the camera eye right here, but um, you're getting a wider range of angle than you would on one of our glasses-free 3D uh, televisions.
so I don't sit perfectly still when I want to watch a 3D movie. Not at all. You, like I said, like you're moving around right now, I can see it angling and changing the, the orientation of the screen. And when is this going to hit market? We're, look, we're looking at quarter three, quarter four of this year. Yeah. Very cool. What's the resolution on this, on this monitor? Right actually? now you're looking at a 1366 by 768 uh, resolution, but it will be able to do 1080p resolution probably when it does come to market. Very cool. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay, 3D TVs without glasses, what did you think, Norm? Well, it worked for sure, as in we could see 3D and we could, didn't have to wear glasses. I had to wear my glasses. Well, I had to wear real glasses. Yeah. But, but only three spots. I mean, three that's spots. weird. I, think. I, I have more than three people in my house. The thing is, they said it was a 4K I, I, by 2K resolution, but it yeah. still looked very reduced resolution. I think we I think that's because of the lenticular stuff. I, yeah. I mean, it seems like they have a little bit of work to do, but this is coming out in the second half of this year, so maybe we'll see. The cool thing, though, that laptop with the that eye tracking laptop, was cool. super cool. Eye tracking technology yeah. obviously makes sense for a small screen where you, you're going to move around. I want to see that on a big screen where I, eye I tracking would, That was the first thing I asked. Faces. They said that's a way off. So, so we'll, we'll see. We'll see these uh, on, the mar on the shelves a year from yeah. now, and hopefully they'll be able to increase the number of viewing angles, increase the number of users. Uh, good luck to the Shiba. Fast yeah. free TV. It works.